Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, we are here from Faith Child Ministries. I am Gus Resinos and this is Ezekiel, my son. Hi. Yes, and so today we want to talk about uh, the word. I know that we are going through a, um, a rough times right now, but um, you know, if you're home, uh, youth and kids out there, you got to find something to do and keep yourself entertained. And um, I have a, a couple of uh, words for you that we are going to read today and just go through the word and be edified. And so uh, I want to start with uh, John chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 and it, it goes like this. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing that was made has been made. Uh, so right there we see the word. It says in the beginning was the word and we know that Jesus says that he is the word of God. The Bible says that Jesus is the word of God. And the word, um, in Greek, the word for word is uh, logos. And in Latin, um, it's lego. So, pretty much, we're going to talk about Jesus being a builder or a master builder. And so, when he says that everything that was made was made through him, and nothing that has been made has been made without him, uh, it means like Jesus has always been a master builder. He <laughs> built the whole universe. Um, you know, by speaking the word. And so, I just want to go uh, to Jeremiah, because Jeremiah was a young, young prophet that he, that he called so that he can prophesy. And um, one of the ways that we build things is by speaking. You know, God said, let there be light, and there was light. And so, when we speak, things come into existence. And so, uh, Jeremiah uh, was a prophet of God, and, and the Lord chose him when he was really young. And Jeremiah said, uh, I cannot even speak. And he says, do not say you're too young. I am putting my words in your mouth. And so one of the things that God said to Jeremiah in Jeremiah 1, 9, he says, the, the, Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot you and tear down and to destroy and to overthrow and to build and to plant. And so... God himself touched the lips of Jeremiah and said, I am putting my words in your mouth. So he's giving him authority to become a builder. It's, it's interesting because, first of all, he tells Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. So who built Jeremiah? It was God. But he gave him the authority to become a builder himself. And so it's interesting because right here we have a bunch of Lego pieces. <laughs> like these are some of the things that Ezekiel has built. And uh, him and I built this... Um, uh, temple together and so you know uh, one of the ways that we build things is by putting Lego bricks together well in the same way when you build things in the spirit you're putting words together so every word that you say and you add another word to it what you are doing is you are building a universe you are building God's kingdom and so God gives us words so that we can speak with authority and he has made us builders himself uh, you know the Bible says uh, uh, that Jesus was a tecton. Uh, that word tecton in, in Greek means uh, builder, uh, an engineer, a uh, master of woodwork or stonework or a smith of metals. And so, uh, you know, a lot of times people say that Jesus was a carpenter or the son of a carpenter. But the word right there, it, it says that he is more than just a carpenter. He is a master builder. And so when, when he was really young, he went into the temple and he was discussing very wise things with with the leaders of, 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 the, of, of that time. And everybody said, this is a young boy and he's so full of wisdom. So if he was so full of wisdom when he was young, imagine when he was older. I mean, he was just like, the Bible said that he grew in wisdom. And so, you know, when God calls us, he gives us the authority to speak and to, uh, to, to, to build things. And so when you're home, uh, don't be bored. Start building stuff. Uh, you know, just like if, if you love Legos, you can build things. Uh, if you love words, you can write songs, you can write poems, you can, you know, do many things. And so, uh, if you like uh, numbers, you can do mathematical equations. Uh, who knows, you might come up with some mathematical equations that nobody knows yet. And so, Jesus spoke of building. He, he always talked about, there was a man who built a house and he built it on the rock. This is a wise man because when the storm came, you know, the, the house remained. And so... We, talk, we, we see Jesus always talking about building and planting. He talks about a man, he says there was a man who planted a vineyard. And so 
We, we know how he tells us to build things and to, and to plant things and to, to make things. And so he is amazing. Uh, I remember one time uh, we went to eat at uh, this place in downtown LA. And uh, as we were coming up, there's this huge building. It's about five, six floors. And I had been in that building in the early 90s because it used to be a club called Levels. And every level, there was a different type of music. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't a nice place because there was too many bad things happening in there. But I was surprised when the Lord said, I want you to put your hands in that building because at, at, at this time it was empty. And it was like six floors of empty. Mm -hmm. And then he said, I want you to declare this building will no longer be a club, but instead it's going to be a church. And so I lay my hands on it and I declare what the Lord said. This building will no longer be a club, but instead it's going to be a church. And I found out a few months later, a church actually leased the building and they are right now constructing it, building it, painting it, doing all kinds of things to it. And, uh, you know, uh, God spoke the word first and then he sent the builders to do it. And so even in the old days when they built the temple of God, God had like master builders, people who were masters of doing things with stone, th yeah, people who were masters of doing things of wood and, and gold and silver. And so God is always speaking and he's building. So right now you might be a little frustrated if you're home and you can't go out and you're like, I can't even go to school. Well, you know, Jesus is our teacher and he continues to teach even if you're home. So if we make space for him, he will teach us how to do things. And so uh, one of the Psalms that I really love, he says, um, let me find it here, Psalms 139 verse 13. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. So God made you inside, you know, like your mother's womb. He put you together, all the pieces right there. So he created you to be a creator. You know, that's amazing. Because he is not a God that wants to take all the credit for himself, but he makes things. He created us so that we can have the same creative spirit and create things. And Ezekiel here... I uh, was born uh, premature. He was born at 29 weeks and he was, uh, he could fit in my head because he was so small. And he, God was not done forming him yet. His lungs were not finished. His skin wasn't finished. There were a few things that were not finished yet. And, and then um, he had to be 40 days inside an incubator uh, with medical doctors and all kinds of wires and beeping instruments and all kinds of things. And inside that incubator, I saw the Lord finish making him. It was like a, an amazing miracle because after the 40 days as he was in there, he came out and he was perfect. But God continued the work even when he was out of uh, his mom's womb and he continued the work inside the incubator. But I remember every time I would, I would go see him, the Lord would say, speak into his life and declare this and declare that and declare this. And my wife would do the same thing. And so we would lay our hands inside the incubator and we would speak into him. And, and, and uh, here he is, you know, he's a creator now. He creates, he makes things like this cool plane over here or this <laughs> bike over here. And I mean, you know, uh, he just loves building things and creating things. And so uh, I just want to encourage you guys to get in the word, uh, get, get with God, um, ask him to fill you up and give you directions. And you have the creative spirit inside of you. And he wants to make you into an engineer or a doctor or a NASA astronaut or who knows what, what God can do with you. Uh, so we're going to pray and we're going to thank God because he has given us a spirit of, cre of creativity. And uh, just like he made the earth and built so many things, he's building his body, the church. He's still working. He's building us together, forming piece by piece. And as we all come together, we are becoming the body of Christ. So let us pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you. For your revelation and we pray that you just give us wisdom understanding and give us knowledge and uh, allow us to be great creators lord you i know that you made us and you formed us in our mother's womb and uh, you have given us authority in the words that we say and you make us uh, speak these words so that we can create things and so even at this time lord we just declare that people are being healed that uh, people are growing in wisdom and knowledge we just declare that your body is being formed. We just declare, Lord, that every kid, every youth in Faith Child Ministry is being built so that they can be creators, so that they can take this world, so that they can invent things, so that they can create buildings, so that they can create spaceships. 
we just give you thanks, Lord, because we know that you have a, a creative spirit that you have given us, and we just want to give you thanks, and we receive that Holy Spirit, and, and we just give you thanks for your word, my Father, and we pray that uh, even as we are now inside our homes, that when we come out, we have all these different ideas, Lord, or the, or the, or the things that we can build, and the things that we can do, and the things that we can plant. Thank you, Lord, and we just pray, Lord, that, that also those creative uh, scientists out there can come up with cures for all kinds of diseases, and we just thank you, Lord, because I know that you can do this uh, through your Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for being the great tecton, the, the great builder, the master builder who is building even as we are now. You're working behind the scenes and you're working in every person's life. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Say bye, Ezekiel. Bye.